Hey everybody, Nelson, alcoholic addict. That's not my real name. I use a pen name here at my newsletter. Um, the other day, somebody told me I did an awesome job on something, and I cringed. I was just like in my, it just very guttural, like, oh no, uh, it came over me. And those don't last very long anymore because I've gotten so much better at accepting compliments. Sometimes you do something good in this world and somebody says thank you or that you're doing a great job or whatever and um you know I've gotten a little bit better about that I still have a weird uncomfortable feeling every time I get a compliment though and yet I want them you know ask me if I'd like to receive 25 compliments this week and the answer is yes and also why stop at 25 this week let's do 25 per day how does that sound but then then the compliments arrive and I try to bat them away because they make my skin crawl. It's like such a bizarre thing. And why do I bristle at compliments? I've asked myself that many times. And I think the reason why is pretty simple. It's because I think deep down, deep, deep down, I'm so conditioned to think that I am not worthy of praise and that I can't, I still can't believe when it actually happens. And let me, let me elaborate on that a little bit. Like I spent about 10 years of my life spiraling out of control into addiction. And I knew as early as the year 2000 or so that I really struggled to just do one of anything that was good. Like I hadn't heard the phrase yet. One is too many and a thousand is never enough. But I was starting to understand that concept deep in my soul. I was starting to know that I was that kind of person. And I, I felt ashamed of that in 2000. I didn't tell anybody. And then it got worse basically every day until I went to rehab in 2008. By 2005, you know, five years in, things were really bleak. Like I was hiding, stealing, lying, abusing pills and booze driving when I was, when I shouldn't have been, coming up with all sorts of bullshit excuses and rationalizations for all of my bad behaviors. And it was ugly. Most people didn't know how bad it was, but I did. I definitely did. I felt like a failure deep down every single day. And I kept making goals for myself that I could not live up to. And it started out by me telling myself that, well, I'll only, I'll only drink on weekends. And then I threw in holidays too, like holidays and weekends. That's fine. That's what everybody does, right? Then I started to like talk to myself into Thursdays. Yeah, it's basically the weekend, isn't it? And then once I was drinking or drugging every day, um, I would set times for myself within each day. I couldn't even make it through the day. So I would say, oh, you know, no booze until it's dark out. And then I couldn't, couldn't live up to that. And then I would say, well, okay, not till dinner time. I won't drink or drug until dinner time. And then I caught myself saying, well, maybe not until 5 p.m. That's basically dinner time, right? That's when some people eat dinner. That's when old people eat dinner, right? It just went on and on and on and on. And the whole thing added up to just an endless string of goals that I was failing to achieve every single day. And not only that, but to chase those goals, I had to live a, a fake life. It was just full of lies and half-truths. And it's one thing to tell yourself you're not, you know, you're going to go for a run and then not do it. It's another to tell your spouse you're running to the grocery store, but you go to the bar instead and you're just going to have one beer, but then you have four beers and two shots. And then I do some drunk driving on the way home. It's, it's just a, it's a more epic fail than skipping a jog. You know, it's the kind of epic fail that punctures a hole in whatever self-esteem is left in the tank. I think I've gotten a little bit better over the years, you know, now that I don't have that wrestling match every day with drugs and alcohol and I don't feel like a failure um, when it comes to booze and I, I learned listen the most important thing when somebody says a compliment even if it makes your skin crawl is I, I just say thank you and and mean it thank you that's it you know I don't need to say well you did a great job too just to downplay anything I do say that sometimes when it's well deserved but uh you know, I start by smiling and expressing appreciation for those kind words. So yeah, 
I, I'm doing a phenomenal job. It's just terrific work done by me. Okay, I'm exaggerating. I wanted to see <laughs> I wanted to see if it felt any better if I compliment myself and it doesn't. I just need to stop. So thanks for letting me share.